That's a somewhat complex question, and I think over my 35 plus years of working with these patients, there are patients who present atypically, meaning some part of their history, physical or labs, don't match sort of the normal chronic fatigue syndrome patient. And oftentimes they may end up with an alternative diagnosis or just be atypical and that sets up a subset itself. The, the probably the best example are these totally bedridden homebound patients that are difficult to study and of course very difficult to treat. And that may be a different diagnosis or it may be uh, on the spectrum of disease. Certainly when you follow people over time, uh, you, you find out that some of them uh, develop other complications and other syndromes, as well as syndromes associated with an aging population.